This is the Creating Wealth Through Self-Storage Show by Mark Helm. Nothing Mark shares with you guarantees your success in the self-storage business. This is for informational purposes only. There are no calls to action and nothing said or implied is a call for investment money into self-storage or any other asset class. You are responsible for your success in the self-storage business or any endeavor in life. Enjoy the show and here is Mark Helm. When I first entered the self-storage business and we would talk about marketing, really the only question was how much, how big an ad can you get in the yellow pages? Or what, how can I name my facility and have the first word start with an A so I show up in the front of the yellow pages? Boy, times have changed since then. Let's talk about marketing self-storage today. My name's Mark Helm, and I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self-Storage, and I'm the creator of the Quick Start Academy, which houses all the training that I offer the small investor who wants to get in the self-storage business or grow their self-storage business. You can find out more about it at creatingwealththroughselfstorage.com. When I first got in the storage self-storage business, my first company was called Ameristore. Why? Well, because it started with an A. And we would show up in the front of the yellow pages and it was nothing. I'm telling you, nothing to spend 25000 to 50000 a year on a good yellow page ad. Well, why would you do that? Well, 87, 88% of our customers said they found us in the yellow pages. That was our main advertising. Websites were nothing more than like a, an online ad at the time. Boy, times have sure changed, haven't they? Well, in my thinking, there's five kind of elements that you need to think about in self-storage marketing. And I'm telling you, the difference between success and failure is often marketing of your self-storage facility today. So let's talk about the five aspects or the five key aspects I see for self-storage marketing. And four of them are deal with online presence. Having a powerful online presence is no longer, you know, just something you may or may not do. It's not a luxury. It's an absolute necessity today. Storage Pug says 63% of all customers who rent a unit start their storage journey online. I've seen higher statistics from Google. So you better be there, you better show up powerfully, and you better be easy for customers to find. Now, our industry tends to attract many people like me who really are not that interested in social media and being online. We're attracted to storage for other reasons. Here's my coaching, get over it, learn this stuff. You better learn it. Even if you're not the one implementing it, you had better learn it so that you can hire the right vendors to do the work. So what are the four key aspects to online marketing? Then I'm gonna talk about offline marketing, but let's talk about online marketing now. It all starts with a website. Get a website from an industry provider. Don't have Uncle Harry create your website or your best friend because they're good at creating websites. It's critical that your website integrate with all aspects of your business, your gates, very often the locks on your doors. Customers have to be able to rent units from your website. They have to be able to pick their unit. They have to be, and all this integration is already there for most of the operating systems from an industry provided website. The industry providers already have all these integrations in place. They are also optimizing your website for Google searches. There's really no cost effective way Uncle Harry or your best friend can create all these integrations, much less have them work and not be clunky to the customer. If your website doesn't have the integrations necessary, customers can easily rent units, see what's available, see the pricing. You're just absolutely irrelevant in your market today. If you have no idea where to start, 
go to the vendors who are members of Inside Self Storage or members of the SSA, go to the conventions, you can see them demonstrate their product, you can compare one company to another real easy, go to the conventions and go to the trade shows. Nothing else, call them up and have them set up an appointment online to demonstrate it with you, but use industry providers for your website, that's my coaching. Next, let's talk about Google having a Google strategy. Now, I don't care what your thoughts are about Google. You had better have a strategy for Google if you're going to be in a self-storage business today. Here's a few examples of what I mean. One, it's, it's really simple, but I'm shocked at how many owners don't claim their business on Google business. First of all, the prime real estate in Google is when you enter certain search criteria, which shows up on that screen, they call it above the fold where you don't have to scroll down. By simply claiming your business on Google, creating a Google business and then claiming it, what happens is you show up in the maps. Now, depending on the market and the search that the customer puts in, very often you can show up above the fold or right below it on the maps, depending on the search criteria or the market again. I'm shocked how many owners don't do that. Start there. And next I would have a Google AdWords strategy. In almost every case, I can't think of a facility today that I'm involved in or would be involved in that would not be purchasing Google AdWords. Simply put, as customers in your area search for storage, it's easy to see what are the keyword searches they're using. And basically you create a budget that will allow you to show up above the fold at the top of Google until your money runs out. It's the, the budget Google applies is more like an auction, though every day or depending on how many people are bidding on those keywords determines the price, but we'll show up till our money runs out. We design our budgets based on the average value of a customer. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, learn about it, buy a course on it, get a, get a Google coach on it, um, hire, a, but hire a vendor, but don't just willy nilly hire a vendor, learn about it so that as you're interviewing your vendors, you can see what they do and know, what, know what's a good vendor and what's not a good vendor. Organic searches and SEO, this generally takes a while, a, a long while for your site to organically begin to show up, rarely above the fold, but sometimes you can, particularly on the maps, but it takes a while. That's why we always do the Google AdWord campaign. But having an SEO strategy so your site is relevant, the content's changing on your website is absolutely critical. I hire vendors for my SEO work, but I know how to gauge their performance. So learn about Google. You can, again, get courses, Google offers training on it, hire a coach, go on to Upwork, Fiverr, hire a coach, but you've got to learn it. And don't just hand it off to somebody and say, hey, that's covered. That's a critical aspect of your marketing as an owner. It's your job to know about it. The third kind of online component of marketing today is reputation management. Now, I personally am not one that puts much stock in what reviews online what people say about restaurants or places but most people apparently do my story is I don't want to be like the average person in society so I'm really not that interested in what they think about a place but I realize that's just my story the majority of people are very interested in what everybody else thinks so Reviews are important. Many companies live and die by these reviews, so you've got to have a strategy for getting them, you've got to have a strategy for monitoring them, and you've got to have a strategy for responding to complaints and negative reviews from customers. And I'm not, ta and I'm not talking just about Google reviews. I'm talking about on your website. I'm talking about in social media. Anytime when we have a facility, anytime it's mentioned, it pops up to us. We set Google to look for the for our name. And anytime we're mentioned anywhere online, 
I know about it. So implement strategies for getting reviews. You can't pay for them, but implement strategies. For us on the customer journey, there are certain time periods on the customer journey where it's really appropriate to ask for a review, like during a move in, during a move out. If you if your manager or you solve a problem for a customer, ask them to give a review. If they send a referral to you, ask them to give a review. If they're the referral coming from somebody, ask for a review. Make it easy to give reviews. Then monitor the reviews. And if somebody has a problem, respond to that problem. My goal is not to get five stars. My goal is to have good reviews, a lot of reviews, and the negative ones we've responded to and people can see that. Now let's talk about social media. When people have an immediate need, they go to Google. Social media is just kind of a place to hang out. Instagram, Facebook, these are just sites people kind of hang out on. But I find that it's important to have a social media strategy so that the people that live in my trade area, when they're hanging out on these social sites, just like when they drive by, I want them to see my facility. When they're hanging out on social media, I want them to see my facility. At any given time, 10 to 12% of the people in your trade area need self storage. Even if they're customers in other facilities, I want them to see my storage facility. And our post about how we run our business, what our customers think of our business. I personally am totally annoyed by social media. I rarely hang out on it. If I am, I'm on it real quick and off of it. So I'm the perfect candidate to have to hire somebody to run my social media campaigns. But I do that because even if I'm not the one doing it, I know how important it is to show up and show up regularly and show up powerfully in social media. Now, when it comes time to run ads, social media ads, I do show up and I run those campaigns. And what I like about social media is it's very easy to target your trade area and your customer base. So, so you know, Google is where you're going to spend the majority of your money on ads, but Social media ads can be very effective, particularly if you're running a special on a unit type or if you have a specialty service such as car parking, indoor car parking. You can target car groups on social media real easily, run specials, put a tag on the specials you're running so it's real easy to monitor from the move-ins where they came from and if it's from and it's easy to target social media ad uh, conversions so that you can measure very accurately your return on investment so i love running ads on social media i don't do it anywhere near as much as google but i find them very effective for unit specials and specialty products that i'm marketing to a very targeted group have a social media strategy now even today We've talked about four strategies for marketing online. But even today, I still think it's very appropriate to have a per offline person to person type marketing strategy for your facility. There's no substitute for one on one relationship building. Now, it doesn't have to be you. If you've got a manager, it can be your manager. That's usually who we use. And some of the examples I'm talking about are. We have our managers once every two weeks take a half a day off and they go call on the businesses in our area, particularly if I'm storage apartment groups and other self storage facilities. And we always take something to them, leave something with them. And we let everybody know that if you send us a referral, we'll immediately give you 50, depending on the market, 50 or $100 referral fee. And it's either cash or a card. And we do it that day that we get the referral. For us, our number one source of referrals are other self storage facilities in our trade area. Now, I know that might sound crazy, but our managers are trained to go call on them. Let those managers know that when, if they got a customer standing at their counter, 
and they don't have a unit for them, if they send them to us that day, they're going to get paid. We get more referrals from other storage facilities, even more than we do from our own customers. That manager has to shut the facility down to go pay that referral fee. That's what we do. We also have our managers or you join, you could be the one to join the business associations in that trade area. Go to the business association meetings, get to know the other business owners in your area. And when they let them know that you can, they will get a discount, their, their employees get discounts, and bring the rest of the business world in your community into your facility, into your orbit. Can't tell you how effective that's been over the years. We also host, we will almost every year request to host a Christmas party for that trade association at our facilities. So host events at your facilities. Get to be known in your trade area. Now, marketing has evolved quite a bit from Yellow Pages to what we do today, but the concept is still the same. We want to show up, show up powerfully, be relevant, and have a product that our customers will happily choose over our competitors. Just know that whatever you're doing today will probably be different a year from now or two years from now. Stay nimble, stay on top of what other facility owners are doing across the country, not just in your area. Another thing I've done very successfully and I've learned a lot is I'll study other industries and see how they're marketing and see how they can what, if, what I can take from other industry practices and put in my self storage marketing practice whatever you're doing review it constantly measure it tweak it evolve it and have fun here's what I know if you win at the game of marketing, you're gonna be successful. So have fun designing your strategy and have fun playing your marketing game. My name's Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer, which is the financial analysis tool we use to analyze self storage opportunities. You can find out more about the Storage World Analyzer at Creating Wealth Through Self Storage. Just click the Storage World Analyzer tab or go straight to storageworldanalyzer.com. Thank you. Go win at the game of marketing, and I'll see you next week.